In India, a spiced roast leg of lamb is called a ran. This is a North Indian recipe and I've taken inspiration from the Kashmiris who use a lot of nuts and raisins in their cooking. For me, the marinade is the most important part of this recipe. So, can I make my lamb? All good marinades should have a bit of oil to keep the meat moist. Some lemon juice. A dash of acidity. Without the pips. The acid in the lemon will tenderize the meat. And then you have the spices to add more flavor. Garam masala, whoops. A little bit of chili powder, not much. Lots of coriander. Salt, ginger, six cloves of garlic. Lamb is a naturally strong tasting meat and is complemented by the heavy, hearty flavors of ginger and garlic. A little bit of water. It'll really give the marinade some oomph. In a curry, the flavors are in the gravy, but in a roast joint, they're all in the meat, so I want to give it time to absorb all these wonderful flavors. Deep incisions help the marinade work its way into the meat. Leaving some of the fat on the joint will keep the meat tender and stop it from burning in the oven. Just try and get them really in there. I find that a plastic food bag is the cleanest and easiest way of refrigerating the joint. Acids in the marinade can react against metal or ceramic glazes and alter the taste of the meat. The lamb in the fridge to marinate for at least 24 hours. And it's just going to keep the marinade really well coated on the lamb itself. And every now and then, even on top of the plastic, give it a bit of a rub. In India, this lamb would traditionally be marinated in yogurt and spices for about 48 hours. But because lemon begins to chemically cook the meat, we only need half that time. <laughs> 